So, top tips learning to ride. Um, personally, I have a, a bit of a loathing for stabilizers. Stabilizers teach people to ride by leaning to one side. Um, we should learn to ride bikes by adopting these. This is a balance bike, uh, and the whole aim of this is that a, a young person can sit on the bike um, and use the momentum of the bike going forwards to learn to balance. And if they can crack balance, then cycling becomes dead easy. So literally, as soon as they're big enough to put their bum on the saddle and their feet on the floor, um, they're good enough for a balance bike. So I've, I've got two guys, two young boys. Um, both of my boys started on these. Now, uh, clearly as a, as a biking person, I was dead keen my kids would learn to ride as soon as possible. So I would put them on the seat, um, we'd hold it and we'd whiz around the house going wee, just so they got the feel of what the bike was. Um, and the bike just sat with all the other kids' toys in the corner. And then as the kids got more into it, as they grew a bit, um, they put their bum on their seat, their feet on the floor, and they started off just walking forwards with the bike underneath them. Um, as confidence grew, which happens very quickly, uh, as confidence grew, uh, the bike started going faster. As the bike went faster, their feet started coming in the air, and hey presto, the kids were balancing. Um, once they're balancing, we then had uh, a year or so of them whizzing around on these things, um, up and down hills, um, all over the spot, uh, clearly wearing out their shoes by dragging their feet behind them. Um, the saddle goes up as the kids grow, uh, and we try to get it so just the tiptoes or maybe the little ball of their feet that's sitting on the floor uh, with all their weight on the bike. Um, the key then is a good balance bike. You can get heavy, uh, not so good balance bikes. The balance bike needs to be light enough so they can throw this around rather than the, the, the bike throwing them around. A um, couple of things to look for, the ability to lift the seat. So a bike like this actually comes with two separate seat posts, a really short one for when the kids are small and a slightly bigger one um, as the kids grow. Uh, and then lastly, when you turn the bars, the bars should stop. They shouldn't spin all the way around. It simply means when the kids go forward, they're not gonna get flicked on the front of the bike. So good balanced bike, uh, they get up to speed, their feet come in there, it all happens naturally. There's very little to teach. Um, it's just another toy in a game. And both my boys learn on these, and by the time they were three, they went straight from a balance bike to a little bike with pedals, and it took 10 minutes in the garden, um, getting them pedaling. They knew how to pedal because they had toy tractors and other pedal type things. Um, 10 minutes in the garden, and that was it. Hey presto, kids are riding bikes.